everyone, welcome to Art Appreciation One Take Series. We have already discussed in your module the Art Appreciation, Humanities, and Aesthetics. We have learned that we need to study art because of beauty. And we need to study art because of the humanities, wherein humanities comes from the Latin word humanus, which means human, cultured, and refined. And in order for you to become human, you must really start being beautiful from yourself. So now, we will discuss what is aesthetics. To delve more what is aesthetics, we need to go back again to the different art forms. The architecture, cinema, dance, theater, literature, music, painting, and sculpture. Among those arts, most of them are actually taught, practiced. And most of the time, criticize. So now we will proceed to our lesson for today, which is aesthetics. Aesthetics is technically the study of beauty, or in short, an appreciation of beauty. Sometimes when we say if someone is beautiful, it is actually subjective. And most of the time, ito ay nagiging matter of choice. Kasi gusto ko to, kasi gusto ko yan, kasi gusto ko yung beauty niyan, gusto ko tong lasa nito, gusto ko yung style niya, gusto ko yung bosses niya. We have our own biases and what we call the subjectivity of art. When we say about subjectivity of art, we base it mostly to our sentiment and taste. Tayo may kanya-kanya naman tayong panglasa. Yung iba, gusto ng rock music. Yung iba naman, balad. Yung iba, gusto si Michael Jackson. Yung iba naman, favorite si Taylor Swift. May ibang gusto sa Korean at K-pop. At may iba namang gusto ang OPM. Well, aesthetics is actually considered to be more subjective. But according to Dennis Doton, who created the six universal signatures of beauty, there are six criterias for us to consider kung bakit nga ba maganda ang isang art. 1. Expertise or virtuosity. It is the pure talent, technical skills of that particular artist or the quality of that particular art. In short, when we say about virtuosity, this is the best of its kind. For example, we love the Queen Band because of their virtuosity in terms of music. We love Sir Cossillet because of their because of their virtuosity or expertise in a specific discipline. How much more with our national artists who prove themselves um, who prove themselves in various categories. Two, non-utilitarian pleasure, art for art's sake. Sometimes, hindi natin ma-explain kung bakit gusto natin ang isang art. Or hindi natin ma-explain kung bakit gusto natin ang isang artist. It is because of the sense of fulfillment that we have in it. Pag nakakain natin ang paborito nating pagkain, we like it and we enjoy it. And we have that kind of sense of fulfillment that we really cannot imagine na mapu-fulfill ng ibang artistic or ibang bagay. And that is non-utilitarian pleasure. Maybe you ask why some people go to musical and watch plays. Where in fact, they can watch films. Well, it is because of the non-utilitarian pleasure. On the other hand, may mga tao rin namang mahilig sa mga indie films, French films, gore films, horror, or suspense thriller. It is because of the non-utilitarian pleasure that we cannot explain for a sense of fulfillment related to psychological aspects of our personality. Third, style. It is the recognizable characteristic or the distinct quality of an art or an artist. Kung bakit nagugustuhan natin sila? We have our favorite musician, a favorite dancer, a favorite film actor or actress. It is because of their distinct style. For example, si Nora Honor. Sa kanyang pag-acting, talagang iba at talagang meron siyang tapak, estilo, at masasabi mong style. The Nora Honor style. Iba din naman kay Vilma. Iba din kay Maricel Soriano. On the other hand, ganun din ang style maging sa music. Iba ang style ni Taylor Swift, where, where she started write, uh, writing her own songs, and then, from country, turning into pop. Also Lady Gaga, from her simple pop, art pop kind of, 
kind of music, she then turned into more pop and evolving into revenge pop and into advocacy pop, where she tries to put promote, uh, promoting her own advocacies and beliefs in her songs. Fourth, criticism. It is the judging, appreciating, and interpreting. Pag ang isang art ay kinikriticize ng mga critics and experts, bakit parang mas gusto nating panoorin? For example, the film Parasite, the Korean film Parasite. At first, no one will watch it, but because of the critics and some people's responses in it, the critical responses they gave on the film Parasite, it gained a global success and plus a top notch in Best Picture last Oscars. Through criticisms, whether good or bad, lalo tayo nagkakainteres sa isang bagay. Lalo tayo nagkakainteres sa isang art. And it is because criticism, process of judging, process of appreciating, and interpreting, interpreting art is actually part of learning and knowing what is really inside that particular artistic object. Fifth, imitation. They say, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. But actually, imitation is the greatest form of inspiration. We copied everything. We copied anything. From reality. From imagination. Which, in fact, it comes from imitation. For example, the painting Mona Lisa. Ang dami-daming gumagaya sa Mona Lisa. Where, in fact, the painting Mona Lisa is... Just a simple portrait of a lady, half smiling, or maybe having that enigmatic smile. At marami ang gumagaya, marami ang nae-inspire. Meron pa nga siyang kamukha ni Mr. Bean, at meron pang nakapis sign. The imitation comes from always a parody or a sarcasm, where in fact, pag ang isang, pag ang isang bagay ay palaging ginagaya sa kanyang distinct quality, or shall we say, nagiging inspiration na ng iba in terms sa kanilang grooming, personality, and characteristics, that particular art is really beautiful. Number six, special focus. We cannot say sometimes that the art is larger than life and beautiful things are actually extraordinary. Deny it or not, your crush is always extraordinary. As well as in art, Namumukod tangi ang pinakamagagandang art because of our subjectivity and something na nakita natin sa art na yun. In short, sa madaling salita nga, ang special focus covers more into something that is an unexplainable liking of a thing. Teluwas ito sa non-utilitarian non pleasure when in fact special focus wanted to convey to all of us that in order for you to be beautiful, you need to be extraordinary out of the ordinary artistic objects. Now, nadako na tayo sa aesthetics gates. Feeling ko, magaling na kayo sa aesthetics. And now, let's have the aesthetics! Our statistics on the class judgment on beauty. Ready na ba kayo? Ngayon, ay malalaman ninyo at tutuklasin ninyo kung ano nga ba ang inyong gusto pala pagdating sa beauty. I will give you four categories and all you need to do is to select among them kung sino ang gusto nyo. Ready? In every count of one, two, three, you need to write it then and then. Let's do it honestly. Let's start with category A. Paintings. Untitled by Carlos Francisco. B. Ang Magbabayo by Vicente Manansala. C. Fruit Pickers by Fernando Amorsolo. D. Lot 536 by Ang Kyoko. E. Sabel by Ben Cub. Vote now. Just select only one among the paintings. If you want, just review. Category B, Destinations A, Chocolate Hills B, 
Mayon Volcano C. Banawe Rice Terraces D. Palawan E. Kamigin Vote now! If you want, just review. Category C On Handsomeness A. James Reed B. Chris Evans C. Omar Borkan Algala D. Daniel Padilla E. Kim Soo Yoon Select now! Kung sino nga ba sa inyo ang pinakagwapo? Isa lang ha! Category D Filipina Beauties Which of the following beauty queens do you find the most beautiful? A. Kylie Verzosa B. Catriona Gray C. Venus Ra D. Pia Wershback E. Shamsi Sutsu Vote now! And if you want to go back, just review. We're done with the statistics game! Well, can you check your choices? Hmm, bakit kaya sila ang mga pinili nyo? O bakit kaya yan yung mga pinili nyo? Yan ba yung painting na pinili mo dahil gusto mo yung color? Or gusto mo yung shape? Or dahil may buong tao? Or abstract? Hmm, go back to Dutan. Or, yan ba yung gusto mong destination dahil napuntahan mo na? Or, baka naman may experience ka na talagang hindi mo makalimutan. Or baka naman, you really love the particular place because of its beauty. Sino pinili mong pinakagwapo? Anong lahi? Well, hindi ko alam. Kamukha ba siya ng crush mo? Well, see. At sino ang pinakamaganda para sa'yo? It is because of her personality? Or because... There is something that she advocates for. Or baka naman, gusto mo ang tangos ng kanyang ilong. Gusto mo niyang kanyang mata. O may naaalala ka lang na kamukha niya. Those are our reasons mainly of what is aesthetics. We learn and we need to know aesthetics in order for us to appreciate art and to appreciate beauty. Gaya nga ng aking sinasabi, we study arts and humanities because in order for us to see the potentials of others, and the potentials in ourselves. And beyond that, to always believe that in life, we should always focus to all things that by God and all the other people, good people, make things beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.